Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today I gonna demonstrate navigation menu. In the navigation menu, in the widget settings, first of all in the back end you will see the normal layout and for the mobile layout. So you can adjust both from here. In the menu direction, you will have a horizontal menu or the vertical menu. You can see the vertical menus example over here. And this is the example for the horizontal menu. Then you can select the menu. You need to create the menu from the appearance menus and in which you can make menu. All the menu created over here, which will be available here, then you will have option to open sub menu based on hover or based on click here you can see it's on the hover let me show you on the front page this is on the click and you can see this is based on the hover now there is the menu effects there are two different styles for the menu effects you can see there are various styles you, then there is the extra options in which you can select the alignment of that menu you can select the center right or left then you will have options for the mobile menu in which you can turn it on or keep that off if you keep that off the mobile menu will not appear in the mobile and it will stay as it is like the desktop version so let's keep that on and you have the media query options here so you can select the value from which device size you want to open the mobile menu then there is the toggle style available in the mobile device then you have the alignment options for the mobile you can select the different kind of menus for example you can select the normal menu in which you need to select the menu as usual and you can select the template menu in which you can select any of elementor template which will be available and work as your mobile menu now in the style tab you will have the typography options for the normal situation the padding inner and outer padding there is the option for the indicator style which is the indicator of your submenus for example if you go here there is the indicator style over here it's a arrow for the right then there is the option for the color for normal icon color box border box radius for the normal hover and active conditions you will have the background options shadow option those were options for the main menu now let's go to the sub menu in which you have options for the typography the outer option for the padding box border border radius background you also can select the gradient color or normal color then you have option for the box shadow now these are the options for the sub menu inner option so it's not the for the outer side it's for the inner side in which you have the padding you have the indicator style again you can select the different indicator style there is style 1 2 and none now you can select the color icon color and normal color for the normal hover and active conditions you also have options for the background for all three conditions now in the mobile menu you will have a toggle height option the color for the normal and active state there is option for the typography padding the normal color normal color and icon color for normal and active these are the options for the menu in which you can select the background as well the border color here are the options for the mobile sub menu styles in which you can select the typography padding the colors for normal and active state with the background color so these are the options for the mobile menu now let's go to the extra options in which you can select the main menu hover effects 
you can select the border color border width now this is the unique style in which you can inverse opacity on other menu items except you have selected one you can see the option here and in in which you have the opacity option for the selected and for the remaining so you can adjust both the values using this option now same effect can be possible for the sub menu you can enable disable that as well if you don't want this effect in the sub menu you can disable it now this is the special option as well in which there are many options when we have the our layout on the right side and the last two menu cannot be open on the right side if that have lots of content so you can make that to open on a left side so you can select the value like how many of your last two or three or what or one sub menu you want to open on the left side so these are the options in the navigation menu thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you